So there's a lot of you artists out there that's putting music out, iTunes, Spotify, Pandora, sending it off the radio, making all these moves, and you don't even got your music properly registered. I'm going to give you a step-by-step -step on how to do that. Let's get right into it. All right. So, there's three main PROs in the, US, in the USA, all right? You got BMI, ASCAP, and CSAC. First thing you need to do as a writer, composer, publisher, you need to go register with one of these PROs. It's called, it's a performance writers organization. And these are the guys that's going to get you that money when your music is played on the radio, played on Pandora, performed at venues where they're tracking this, these songs. You know, you're potentially missing out on hundreds, thousands, however amount of money because you fail to do this step or you don't do it properly, you know. Um, and even if you've done it, if you're not doing it right, you know, you uh, the creators that's that's helping you with this music, you're robbing them of them getting their potential royalties. All right. So first thing you need to do, sign up with one of these companies, and uh, that you know they're the one that's going to get you paid. All right. So you got ASCAP, ASCAP, uh, pretty much their their fees are. If you want, if you're a writer, fifty dollars. If you're a publisher, fifty dollars. If you want to be both, um, it's a hundred dollars, obviously. Um, if you're a publisher, that's basically, you know, if you're if you're putting out music and you're collecting a publishing split off of the actual music, or if you're a label or anything like that, you know, you'll sign up as a publisher. Um, or you might be putting plays together and you might be getting a, per a percentage off a of publishing split and you haven't actually written on a song as a composer or, or a writer, you know, you, you'll sign up as a publisher um, in that case too to make sure you get your percentage. Um, BMI, that's who I'm with. I've been with them since early 2000s. And, um, you know, they're free to sign up for writers. Uh, if you want to be a publisher, I think it's one hundred fifty dollars to to sign up with them. All right, so let me give you a step by step on how to do this because I ran into a situation um, at a, at one point where an artist, you know, went ahead and put out uh, a song that my team and I produced, and he was getting it on the radio and on and all this stuff, and he didn't know anything about this this publishing side of it, and what happened was I had to have a conversation with him and go and register these songs or this song, particular song. And lo and behold, the next uh, quarter, we were paid out a payment and from, from, from royalties. And we would have missed out on that had this process not taken place. So I'm with BMI. I'm going to show you a step-by-step -step on how to register a song and today i'm registering a song um by an artist that i work with his name is dj um he has an uh, album out right now called prologue um it is what it is and i'm gonna be registering a song off of there it's titled stupid and let's get right into it so i'm logging into bmi And you'll see everything, each step-by-step -step process on how to do this. All right, I'm in. So you want to go to BMI, uh, on BMI, basically the split system with BMI is 100%, 100%. 100% for the writers, 100% for the public, for the uh, composers. So... 
that equals 200%. It's the same thing, though. Uh, with ASCAP, it's just a 50-50 thing. Makes it a lot easier, you know, but really it's just multiplying by two. Um, I don't know why BMI does it this way, but they do. So, hit works registration. All right. And we're going to add new work. Okay. It's going to ask for the work info. All right. This is me. Select the type of work you are registering. It's not classical. It's all other genres. It's an R&B song. Okay. The name of the song is Stupid. All right. And we are registering music and lyrics. All right. If it was just a beat, it would be music. You know, music only. Music and lyrics we're doing. All right. Language is English. Next. Is this work an arrangement of a public domain work or a foreign lyric version of another work? The answer to that is no. This is an original song. Does this work contain samples or medleys? The answer is no. Okay. Are there any publishers on this work? So for, t for this particular song... There is a publisher. The producer has his own publishing company, and he's gonna be. We're gonna be splitting that up. When you when you work when you're dealing with a publishing company, it's normally fifty fifty percent. You know what I'm saying? So, yes. Okay. You can either add a new publisher. Or pick a previous one. We already registered a different song with him on it. So we're going to pick this. This is him. His publishing company. All right. Um, and his split. We already got the split. So obviously, when you're doing, when you're registering the songs, you need to have your splits already taken care of. How much, who is getting, and what. What number, what percentage, okay? So in his case... He's getting ninety percent of the of the product of the production side, so we're gonna do his pub and fifty percent of that of ninety percent is forty five. So we're gonna put forty five on the ownership. And over here it says collection. We're gonna put the same. It's the same. It should equal the same amount for the for the publishing. All right. Now we're going to hit next. We're going to pick a writer. If you don't have an, if the, if it's a new writer, that's not, you know, you just enter his name, the role. This, this, we're going to put author because we have author, composer, or composer and author. And we're going to do DJ and we're going to, he's the author on the song, so we're putting author, right? Um, but since we already have in the system already, because we've registered a song before, we'll just go to his name, and that's Melvin. And it automatically puts everything in there. He's the author, and his share is 80% of the writing side, of the author side. Right? Please tell us which publishers are connected to this writer. This writer does not have a publisher. You can say, I don't know, I'm not sure. Or you can pick the actual publisher if he has a publisher it'll show up here but that's not him so the writer does not have a publisher save and add another writer all right now we're gonna pick the producer who is right here he is composer because 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 he did the music and he gets, again, 45% because his publishing got 45. And that means he gets 45. That equals out to 90%, you know. So 45%. If he didn't have a publisher, you just gave him the whole 90. And, you know, that's that. But since he had a publisher, he split it up 50-50. All right. Please tell us which publishers are connected to this writer. 
and that is this. Save and add another writer. All right. Now, 90% for the writing. Remember I told you it's 200% is the total. So 90% for the writer, for the uh, composer, 80% for the writer, one of the writers, obviously, and composers. And then it leaves me, which I'm taking the rest of it, and I'm composer and author. And so 80 plus 90 is 170. So to 200, 30%. So 30% share. Okay? Um, next. So you look at it. It brings you to this next screen where it shows you everything, how you got it set up, and it tells you the writer total and the publisher total, and when you total these out, they should add up to 200%. And that does, so you hit next. Okay, it's going to ask you, are there any artists? Yes. Are there any recordings? Yes, because it came out on a project. Was this work created for film, TV, theater, or music library? The answer is no. Okay. Hit next. Okay. It's going to ask for the artist's name. His name is DJ. All right. And you can add another artist if there's another featured artist or some or, or, or whatever. But he's the only artist. So we'll just click next. All right. And it's going to add the recording now. And this is basically what it was on. If it was a single, then you would just put single. If it's on an EP, you put EP, album, album, obviously. So it's on an album. And the name of the album is Prologue. It is what it is. So we have that in there. It's already there. You can put, you can put the release date if you want. It, was this recording released by a record label? The answer is no. It was self-released. If it was, you'll just click yes, and then you'll, it'll ask you for the, the label information, and you'll put that in as well. So you hit next. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't hit no. Yes, the answer is no. All right, hit next. Okay, so this is um, basically... Uh, uh, telling you the artists and recordings and that looks all good to me so I'll click next okay and this is a summary it tells you you just pretty much look it over make sure everything's right everything looks good you know um, and once that's done it's gonna ask you by checking this box I represent that to the best of my knowledge and belief the information that I am submitting is accurate and I have read and agreed to the terms and conditions already done that plenty of times yes I'm looking at this it looks good so I'm gonna click the box and hit submit and that's it you got it registered you know simple easy takes few minutes and this could potentially get you who knows amount of money depending on how big the song goes but this is something that has to be done no matter what okay you got other other um services uh companies that you know get your internet money like sound exchange i'm put i'm gonna put the links in the bio to all these places to make sure you know you get it and uh, one more thing I want to I want to say if you don't if you do not know the writer's um, information, you might not know their IP number. As you can see here, it's, a, it's asked for the IP name. You might not know it. And you some, you know, you don't have to put it in. They'll find them by name. But sometimes uh, there will be multiple writers out there with the same name and you don't want that to be confused. So if they already been uh, uh, have music published. You can go to the reper repertory and 
find them. And right here, as you can see, it says search site. You can put this in. Let's just say uh, J Bonkers. That's me. Um, uh oh, hold on. Search BMI repertory. Uh, and it'll come up with the information, a bunch of songs that, you know, and you can get by clicking on them, you can get their, uh, their IPI numbers and all that type of stuff. You could just find them, you know. So the same thing with ASCAP, they have one, you know, uh, CSAC I'm sure has one. And that's how you find, if, you, if you're looking for a writer and you need their number, you just can't get in contact with them. But make sure you get in contact with them, you know, so that you can be on the same page as far as splits. Because this is, this is technically a split sheet, you know. So if, you, if this video was helpful, like. You know, leave a comment on, and, and, you know, let me know if there's anything else that you might want to know about this topic or any other topic. I'll be, I'm here to help. I'll answer all questions. Um, make sure you subscribe and get at me. Jay Bonkers, man. Peace. Time to try